Hello there everyone and thank you so much for coming back. Please excuse my voice, I'm still getting over the flu, but it's that time again, it's architect home remodel time. Alyssa over at Sims Therapy picked house number five for me to do. I have already looked at the house and I've already completed the remodel. I have to tell you, I really enjoyed doing this one. At first I thought it was a duplex with two apartments and then I realized it's actually a fourplex, which is pretty cool. I really think they've done an excellent job setting up four little homes on a small lot. That's not an easy task if you think about it, but you have a bedroom, a bathroom, and then sort of like a great room with a little living area, a bar area, and a kitchen. So I think they made great use of the space. The only thing I don't like really are the stairs. But if you think about it, I can kind of see what they were going for because a lot of apartment stairs actually look like that. But I, again, thought it was a duplex, and then I popped up and I saw that there are whole other units on top. So they're all different. And what I also like about it is this is a build where you can tell they've taken what they have and they've made the absolute best of it. So I get a lot of comments saying, well, what if I don't have the items that you have? How am I going to recreate your builds? This is a wonderful example right here of someone taking what they have in their inventory and really using it for something nice. And it does have the balcony up there and also the courtyard. And then there are stairs down there, but I'm not going to use that basement that comes with it. But next you're going to see the after and you can see what I've done with it here. I love it. I think it's beautiful. I took the new exterior and I kept the French style windows that they were using. I just placed them differently. And now instead of it being a fourplex, it is just a couple of connected townhomes. And as you can see, I have used the new exterior and railings, but as I was building it, I tried several different exteriors on it, as well as several different types of roof, just to see what it would look like. And as long as you choose, you know, a nice color, not the gingerbread or anything crazy like that, as long as you just choose maybe like a brick even or a stone or some of the stucco looking finishes that we have, it all looked very, very pretty. So there's the courtyard, newly decorated. I did give them some nice areas out back here. I just took out a lot of the landscaping because I just personally don't like a whole lot of landscaping. I just like it really simple. And this is what it looks like at night now. I love that fire pit. And you can see back there in the courtyard, I use the matching fountain. And here's the back at nighttime. So now let's take a tour of what it looks like on the inside. You can see I've just put some flowers up there on the balcony and there's that fire pit and then here is where you go into the apartments you can walk straight back through the courtyard to go back to the patios i started to make that a driveway and i changed my mind but here is the first unit you walk directly into the stairs i just changed them out with the farmhouse stairs a lot of this is reconfigured but remember i don't change walls when i do the remodels so this area here i've used as a coat closet also on either side, you're going to see all of the basic items are the same because they're matching townhomes, but furnishings and decor are all different. So this is the living area and dining area. I've used that alcove over here for this unit as just a little reading nook. And I use the coffee shop items there. I love it with that black and brown TV. And then one of the newer rugs, I believe I purchased that rug. And then you see one of the new items also that we're getting in this current event. I love that decorative table. And I brought out the peaches and that rug with the flowers and the candles and the salt lamp. And just the nice wood chair railing on the walls. And I just think it looks so pretty in here for such a small little living room and dining area. This is now the kitchen. I've used the new cabinets and countertops with the stainless steel. I like the fact that they have the stainless steel pull handles on them for the drawers and cabinets because it makes it look a lot more uniform when you're using the stainless steel appliances in the kitchen. I also put a silver light fixture above and the water machine in there. And over here for these two tiny rooms, I believe this one was empty. I've just put an open doorway into a laundry room, just a simple laundry room with a doorway that goes out back to the patio. 
And then right here we have just a three-piece bath. I did go ahead and put a full bath downstairs. And then those little rooms back here that they had, I can't remember what they had in them, if anything. I decided that would be a great place to put the trash bins. So they just go straight out the laundry room door from the kitchen and they can put their trash in that little covered up area. So that's the first floor of unit one. I think it's really cute. Again, it was just really fun to redecorate because they did such a good job designing it. So let's go upstairs and this was already here, but I did put a doorway there and right beside it. So sort of diagonal from each other. This one goes into the master bedroom. Now remember, this was a whole separate apartment. So now we just have two units instead of four. So what used to be the living and dining area of this upstairs unit is now the master bedroom of this one. I love those chairs from the coffee shop. I put one of the new fireplaces so it would match up with the chimney and the fireplace below. And that gave me room to put the TV over there on the right and I thought that worked out really well. You do have to walk through this little closet, which is fine. I see a lot of homes like that into the bathroom. Very tiny room again, but I did want to have an ensuite master bath. And I also Jack and Jill the bath with the extra bedroom that I've put over here. So I put a door at the top of the stairs and I decided to include a second bedroom, even though it's really small, and I turned it into a cute little nursery with my favorite nursery collection. I really love this contemporary set with the white and the teal and the yellowish gold color. If you've watched any of my videos, then you know that's my favorite nursery set. I did just give them matching lounge chairs on each of the back balconies out there, just so it wouldn't look messy in the back, but again, you can decorate it however you want to do it. So let's look at unit two. Same setup, of course, and you have the stairs there, and you come through and you have your coat closet here, just like the other unit. And then on this side, I decided to flip-flop the living and dining area. So as soon as you come in the door on this one, you have the dining area right away, right in front of the fireplace. And for the nook over there, I used it as a little computer nook. It was just the right size to put one of those computers in there. And on the other side of the room, we have the cute little living area. It was the perfect size to just put a two-seater sofa and just hang some pretty things on the wall. I used one of the new coffee tables and rugs and then they have their TV over there and just a plant in the doorway. So here is their kitchen. Again, same fixtures, it's just decorated differently. I wanted to do some reds in this one, and I just discovered that that old Latin rug with the red and blue, look how nice that looks with the reds in the kitchen. And even that old painting that we got years ago right there over the food processor, it matches the wood on the countertops, and then you have the reds. You can pull the reds out of that picture with the mixer and the toaster oven. I also brought the red vacuum in and the red trash can into the laundry room. And again, that walks out to their trash area. And then right here is their downstairs bath. So that's the first floor of unit two. And then we'll go up the stairs and take a look at the second floor. So you just pop up, same setup, a door directly at the top of the stairs and again off to the right. This is this unit's bedroom. I wanted to do, since it has the green wallpaper as well, because I wanted them to be identical but decorated differently, I wanted to do green in here and pink. So I took that painting that we have with the wedding photos, and I think it brings out all the pinks and greens in the room. I used pink lamps with the green bed. I like this, and then use the French pink flower paintings above the lamps. Same setup as you saw over there. It's just a closet and the simple bathroom and the balcony. And in this unit, instead of making it a bedroom, just a regular bedroom, I decided to make it a guest room and a workout area. So it's just a perfect little space there for a guest. And then you saw the balcony there. So this remodel was a lot of fun. I love doing these architect home remodels. I used to do the reviews, but I think Alyssa does a wonderful job, and I love just waiting to see what she's gonna pick for me to do next. So we're just gonna take a look at where I've put everything, just the furniture placement and the decor, because we don't need to look at the grid. It is just a remodel, and I didn't change any of the walls. So that's the downstairs of unit one and the trash area back there and the courtyard 
And then as we come upstairs, you'll see I noticed while I was videoing this, I had forgotten to put doors. I wanted to put doors right there from the master bedrooms to those double doors that go out onto the portion of the balcony that has the fire pit. So I did fix that. I put those little French doors there. And then you see the little nursery here and the walkthrough closet and the small bathroom. And then we'll look at unit number two. And you'll see just the same setup again, but decorated and furnished differently. I really love this new dining set. I think it's just beautiful. I think the reason that I like it so much is that it goes really with any style of decor. I've even just kind of played around with it and tried it with something modern. And you really just can't go wrong with it. I kind of feel the same way about the new green sofas as well and the coffee house sofas and love seats and chairs. So we're going upstairs here and then you just see the guest room, the bathroom, the closet, and then the master bedroom and balcony. So that is the remodel. Alyssa, thank you so much for picking this for me. We had actually been sort of texting back and forth about the architect homes this time and I happened to mention to her I don't know if you would consider this cheating or not, but I mentioned to her that I really thought this one was cute. So I'm glad she picked it for me. Thank you, Alyssa. I hope you guys enjoyed the remodel. If you did, please let me know by hitting that like button or leaving me a comment. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Take care, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.